Last week, the Proline panel had big games and big sweeps, including my 2-0 weekend on my free pick phone. And week three is about to begin. The Sporting World's premier website, JimFice.net, presents America's longest-running pregame show, direct from Las Vegas, Proline. Featuring Jim Feist, who swept his Proline offers again last week and goes for his third straight perfect week with his college underdog game of the year. Dave Koken, who had another big weekend with his top level plays and has a five game package featuring his Pro Game of the Month going today. Scott Spritzer, who kept his incredible football run going last Saturday while nailing his big game on Kansas and is set to fire with his college trifecta of the year. Glenn McGrew, who was a perfect 3-0 with his Proline offer last weekend and has another free one-call gets-it-all package that includes a conference game of the year. Bob Donahue, who is making available his college parlay of the month, free on a recorded message, as well as details on his Big Ten game of the year. Roz Warby, who went 2-0 with her free pick phone selections last weekend and is ready for another big week. And hosted by longtime national sports analyst and commentator Al Bernstein. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Saturday on ProLine. I'm Al Bernstein. We're happy to be back for another week. Now, later on in our show, of course, our panel will break down for football games, expertly, I might add. But first, we're going to talk about uh, some of the coaches in both the college and pro game who maybe are a little disappointing at this point. Well, I have one coach I'm going to start off with, Norv Turner. And, and all the coaches at San Diego, they have five new coaches there, including Norv. Very talented team. I thought San Diego was the best team in football last year when they lost, of course, in the playoffs to New England. But and they never made it to the Super Bowl, but this year they just don't look like the same team. Can Norv bring this team back to where they were under Marty? I kind of doubt it. Actually, how about Marvin Lewis, defensive genius, Cincinnati, gave up 51 points last week to a Pac-10 guy, which Glenn will remind you of <laughs> in Cleveland. And, and then you got Lloyd Carr at Michigan, and got Charlie Weiss, offensive genius. They haven't scored a touchdown all year. Scott? I think they got rid of Ty Willingham, Jim, because yeah. you know, I mean, <laughs> that program was obviously terrible under Willingham, and it's done so well under Weiss. Uh, you know, apparently he didn't learn under Belichick. Cameras, audio equipment, get it done, Charlie. <laughs> Romeo Cornell could probably use some help also. Uh, one of the coaches I look at at the pros, though, is Linehan uh, with the Rams. They were actually expecting a nice turnaround season. Now, obviously, there's 14 games to go. They've got a chance to turn things around, but they have not looked too hot the first two weeks. And wasn't it? A little bit of a signal, the fact that he actually was an assistant coach at UNLV, Dave, at one time. Doesn't that tell you enough? We haven't had a coach here since Harvey Hyde. I mean, come on. Well, I'm not going to talk about UNLV. But, you know, one of the things that interests me is how big time it's getting in the college football world. Because you've got some coaches out there who are catching heat right now who've been huge winners for years. And it's not like your teams are falling off the map all of a sudden. I mean, Charlie Weiss thing at Notre Dame is one thing, but... You look at a guy like uh, uh, Tommy Tuberville at Auburn, Phil Fulmer at Tennessee. These have been big-time winning programs. They're struggling just a little bit right now, and yet you're seeing that they're on the hot seat. Tell you what, it is tough being a head coach these days, Glenn. It really is. Back to the NFL, the New York Giants, the New Orleans Saints, Philadelphia Eagles. What are the chances those three squads would all be 0-2 after two weeks of the season? Unbelievable. And I tell you what, the, f the latter two teams, they got no problems, two excellent coaches. But it's an upside-down world in the NFL when a guy like Marty Schottenheimer is sitting at home watching games on TV while Tom Coughlin's on the sideline for the hapless New York Giants. Thanks, guys. Later in the show, we'll also be hearing from Bob Donahue, Jeff Allen, and from me, Roz Farber, as well. So stay tuned for that. We'll be right back with the Georgia-Alabama game. Don't go away.